Hi guys, in this video, I am going to clarify with respect to CA final advanced auditing. In the existing scheme, it is paper 3. Even in the upcoming May 2024, also it is going to be paper 3 and forming part of group 1. Now, many students have this confusion with respect to audit. What are the exact topics that were changed between the existing scheme and the new scheme? So, I simply made up into two parts. Like in the existing scheme auditing, we have 18 chapters. In the new scheme auditing, we have 19 chapters. If you closely reconcile them, there are some topics which are there in existing scheme, which are discontinued in the new scheme. And few topics in the new scheme were newly added. So I, I broadly classified into two, two categories. There are some topics in the existing scheme which are discontinued and new topics were added. In fact, few months ago when I'm taking classes also in my many videos, I used to tell these are the topics which are irrelevant. We are unnecessarily discussing without any, you know, particular uh, purpose. So majority of them were deleted. Whereas the most important topics for being a professional accountant like you, like us, like chartered accountants, most important things that we need to learn were again added back. Yes, they were added back. Added back means what? Once upon a time, all these topics were there in CA final audit. Later, they were removed. Again, now in the form of new scheme, they added. That's it. Now, what are the topics that were newly added? Let us look at. So, there is something called 800 series, special purpose framework related audit. Okay. And 2000 series, uh, reviews. 3000 series, assurance services. 4000 series, related services. We all know that engagement and quality control standards has four categories of standards. Standards on audit, standards on review, standards on assurance and related service. Now, earlier under the existing scheme, we only have standards on audit. But now, all the engagement and quality control standards, I think 46 or 47 totally, entirely applicable now. Nothing but. Earlier, we have only 36 standards including quality control. Now, we have 10 more standards additionally were added which are related to review, assurance and related service. This is something new addition. And there is one more chapter which is newly coming in the new scheme is Sustainable Development Goal and Social Governance Audit, which is nothing but chapter 18 in the new scheme as per the new scheme index. So I have given respect to chapter numbers also in the new scheme. Now, uh, here you might have some doubt. If at all you are my student of CA final audit, sir, what about us? Where There are few students who already have enrolled for May 24. So what should we do? Nothing. Very simple. There are some topics which are removed in the upcoming new scheme. Like what? Company audit is removed. But CARO 2020 is continued. Now, I'll show you the ICI website index also. Please watch it in the end. An audit committee corporate governance is completely removed. Fiscal loss is removed. One of the useless chapter which I feel in CA final audit is fiscal loss. Why? Because this is something which we need to discuss as part of direct taxes, not as part of audit. And moreover, in the existing scheme from the fiscal loss, they are, they are testing too much of memory power. Okay. But luckily, that is eliminated. Peer review and quality review, both are eliminated. Insurance audit is eliminated. Now, what exactly the new scheme index is? If at all you are my student, please keep open the book and look at the index. I will try to map you with, with the new scheme with our existing classes, with our existing material. Now, so if you open the new scheme, no? So this is the index under the new scheme for paper 3 advanced auditing. Now, if you look at module 1, Module 1 is completely focusing on standards and auditing. That's it. Entire module 1, the new scheme auditing material is divided into three parts. Entire module 1 is focusing on standards and auditing and quality control. First chapter, quality control. Second chapter, general principles of audit like 200, 240, 220, all that. Third one, SA 300. Fourth one, 320, 315. Fifth chapter, audit evidence, 500, 501, that's what it is. Sixth chapter, completion review. Here it, it is talking about 560, 570, 580. Reporting, entire 700 series and CARO that is covered as part of reporting. Getting it? Now you can see all these topics were there in our CA final existing scheme as part of company audit, audit report and standards. Now of course, company audit is not there. Next, specialized areas. This is nothing but 800 series. Audit related services, nothing but 4000 series. Review of financial information, 2000 series. Prospect of financial information and other insurance services, 3000 series. Digital auditing and assurance. Don't think it's a new chapter. It's there in the existing chapter. Audit in automated environment. Group audits. CFS audit. Nothing but. 13th chapter group audit is nothing but consolidated financial statements audit. 
then chapter 14 we have already this is special features of banks and nbfc existing we already have bank audit nbfc what is missing here insurance is missing so which means it is removed then overview of psu audit existing syllabus we have psu audit you know what whatever syllabus that is carry forwarded from existing scheme the content is as it is ditto even the examples illustrations are same so technically whoever is already enrolled for may 2024 auditing classes with me or with anybody else and already reading the book except the topics like i, I told no there are some topics which are removed in the new scheme ignore them rest all other chapters rest all other video lectures all other material content is exactly same okay anyhow i will do a detailed video analysis on the material comparison very soon next internal audit we have in the existing scheme now in the internal audit whether they have covered a uh, management audit and operational audit also no they only covered internal which means the topic of management audit and operational audit is removed which means in the internal audit there is only a partial change okay next due diligence investigation forensic audit in the existing scheme it is there even in the new scheme it is there emerging areas like sustainable development goals social assurance or social uh, gov social and governance audit this is a topic which is newly added professional ethics and liabilities of auditor which is there in the existing scheme as well that's it so clearly speaking clearly speaking these are the topics which are discontinued these are the topics which are added rest all other topics were intact believe me they were intact whatever is there in the existing scheme same thing is copy pasted control c control v everything just to that there are some questions in case study book you have mcq booklet right inside that case study right some case study case study scenarios were copied into the main material and maybe the new case study book and mcq book might be under development so once it is released so we will have that additional content just that examples have been slightly changed in fact most of the examples are as it is retained that's it ethics you know almost all the topics is as it is retained so what are left Company audit, audit committee, fiscal loss, peer review, quality review, insurance audit. In fact, management audit and operational audit are also removed. Only these topics were added. Rest of all other chapters that were there in CA final in the existing scheme, whereas the T's continued. And you know one surprise. Earlier in CA final, earlier in our early, earlier in, in our earlier, I mean existing scheme, standards and auditing, many standards, institute is asking you to refer CA interview. Here they gave brief overview in the material itself. Brief overview. They have not given in depth, only brief overview. In fact, all these standards, entire module one, many topics, they are asking you to refer CA inter audit book for standards. And if you look, if you look at, if you recollect in our auditing syllabus for, for CA inter, wherever they asked you to refer CA inter book, we gave that CA inter book, we gave CA inter videos also for those particular some 10 to 12 standards. So Please be confident, whoever is planning for May 24 exam, don't worry, whoever have already enrolled classes with me or with anybody else, whatever it is, don't worry at all. Okay, all the very best.